Officials of Witness Project International interacted with youths of the Rosal Tongue area yesterday. More in this report. Yesterday, seven young people who are members of the Margaret Clemens Foundation visited the Rosal Tongue area and interacted with members of the Rosal Tongue Youth and Sports Club at a workshop held in the Guyanese Conference Center in the St. Francis Community Developers Building. One of the leaders, Harish Bhagwan, introduced the other members of the Witness Project team, namely Devi Sankar, Gordon Roberts, Rajendra Ramesh, Nakesi Charles, Jarrett Miller, and coordinator Roshni Takchandra. Ms. Takchandra then explained to the more than 70 youths present the reason for their presence there. Really, um it really is an honor and privilege for us to be with such a group that has generated so much learning in Burbies over so long. And then to see that it's all age, you know, you have a wide um, age range working in your program. So hats off to you guys. I'm sure there's so much we can learn from you. And we look forward to continued collaboration with this group. Um, so you're going to see that film Harish mentioned at the end. It's a tool that we use in our workshops. It's 12 minutes long and it's a movie. It's a movie that was made based on the stories that our youth wrote about. Um, they were young, they were your age, they were just 13, 14 when they were in the program and they're writing about the violence they see. And we use their stories to, to make a movie. And then after that, the youth would come to the meeting just like how you come to your cricket club. And, and one of the things they said is that every time we're coming to these you know, uh, meetings, there's a lot of harassment on the road. Men are calling out to us, you know, girl, girls are saying that they're commenting on our body parts or telling us things we don't like. And since we address violence against women and girls, why don't we do something about this? And when they said, let's do something about this, we spent three months using marketing strategies and talking about how we're going to address what we today call street harassment. How many of you heard of street harassment before? If, you know, if you've heard of street harassment, put your hand up. Okay, how many of you have heard guys whistling at girls when they pass on the road, doing that? Put your hand up if you heard that before. <laughs> you may have done it, not pointing fingers, okay. How many of you heard a guy saying things like, that's on this poster, you know, um, a sexy, watch the box, you know, y'all you sweet that. You've heard things like that ever? If you have, put your hands up. Okay, good. So those things make up street harassment. Um, it starts with that, but then it leads to other things. Those present were later placed in groups on the 11 years, 12 to 15 years, and above 15 years to brainstorm the issue of street harassment, share stories about harassment, and later take a pledge to help end street harassment in Guyana.